The threes keep coming from the Utah Jazz. It was all Utah. As we watch LeBron James look as helpless as he's looked in a while, stagnant and dumbfounded as the Utah Jazz made it rain on Wednesday night in ways no NBA team has ever done before. The thought entering anyone's mind could have easily been that the Lakers are a shell of themselves. They're not what they were last season. And by the way, don't even bother thinking they'll repeat as champions now that bubble play in Orlando is a distant memory. Take this person. Nobody's feeling bad for you. You're the champs. Yet as we sit here today, lamenting the troubling state of affairs in Tinseltown, upon deeper reflection, one could actually sit here and say, thank God for LeBron James. The sports world has lost a lot in the last 13 months. First, there was former Commissioner David Stern in January 2020. Then there was the fatal helicopter crash that took the life of Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, and seven others. We could even point to the lost T-Wolves star Carl Anthony Towns suffered, losing his mom to COVID-19, included with more than a half million lives lost during this pandemic, infusing a level of despondency America hasn't experienced in more than a century. And the scare Tiger Woods gave us all with his single car accident on Tuesday morning certainly did not help. Yet there was LeBron, struggling no doubt, losing his fourth straight game, playing without the services of his all-world teammate Anthony Davis, frustrated over the flagrant lack of support without him, but still playing nevertheless, not missing a single game, proving once more that of all the great traits he has in his phenomenal arsenal, perhaps the greatest of them all, is his availability. I'm here to work and I'm here to punch my clock in and me being able to be available to my teammates is more important than anything. LeBron shows up. He shows up in shape. He's always ready and there isn't a thing anyone can come up with to accuse him of compromising his God-given gifts. Yeah, he's averaging 25 points per game. He's an all-star again, an MVP again, blah, blah, blah. All that comes to your mind until you're reminded that he's in his 18th season at age 36, and he just keeps on coming. He just continues to keep going. He's a machine. LeBron is LeBroning. To play at this caliber, at this level, at 36 years old. Doing so while others who are younger, fresher, supposedly starving, never succeed in usurping his greatness, despite his age, attrition, and enough accomplishments to feel fulfilled leaving us all with nothing left to say, but sincerely, thank you. And damn, one day, we're really gonna miss you when you're gone.